Thank you, I'm Mr. Lehner, and welcome back to Mr. Lehner's Math Extravaganza. In today's webisode, we're going to take a look at and build upon what we've talked about already with adding and subtracting decimals, but more specifically, we're going to focus on our fact families. Uh, so, as I promise today's going to be nice, quick, and painless. Probably something your dentist might tell you, even though sometimes it might be painful. This is definitely going to be a little bit uh, painless for you guys, but I digress. Let's take a look at an example problem. Okay, we're gonna throw a little bit of algebra at you today, but again, we're gonna show you how you can use fact families to solve problems similar to the ones that we solved in uh, investigation one, or problem 1.1 and 1.2. It says, how can you use fact families to find the value of n? If my number sentence states n plus 2.3 equals 6.55, I can ask myself what number plus 2.3 equals 6.55 or 6 and 55 hundredths. Now, Hmm, what do we know from fact families about what we've talked about earlier this year? Kind of re-rack your brain here. Think about some of the information you guys have worked with already this year. I know that in an addition problem, the biggest number goes where? Where does that biggest number go? Oh yeah, the biggest number in this problem goes at the end. So I know this number has to be smaller than uh, our 6.55. So I can actually use uh, the inverse here and use a subtraction problem. I know that in a subtraction problem, the biggest number goes where? Man, you guys are smart out there. This goes in front. So I can actually rewrite this problem as 6.55 minus 2.3 is gonna equal n. Uh, and if I wrote it this way, 6.55 minus 2.3, well, that's gonna equal, and I can type this right into my calculator, or if you got a handy dandy little smartphone, type it in your calculator in your smartphone, and it's gonna equal 4.5. Five, uh, two or four and 52 hundredths. Uh, so again, I took two of the three parts that I knew. I used some of my prior knowledge about fact families and I used it to find uh, the value of n. Now to test it, I can test it all four ways. I can also do 6.55 minus the 4.52, which is gonna equal 2.3. Or if you put 2.30, it's the same thing. Two and three tenths or two and 30 hundredths is the same number, uh, it's just written a little bit differently. Uh, we talked about equivalent decimals or equivalent fractions, those are the same things there. Now I can do the uh, addition side of it. 2.3 plus 4.52 is gonna be 6.55, and 4.52 plus 2.3 is gonna equal 6.55. So again, I use some of my background knowledge, uh, what I knew about fact families to help me solve uh, this problem here, and there you go, you just did a little bit of algebra, which is a little bit of a preview of what comes up in the next unit, which is variables uh, and patterns. All right, your turn. I've thrown a little curveball with a subtraction problem at you, but it says, how can you use fact families to find the value of n? n minus 6.88 equals 7.2, uh, 2, 1. Go ahead, I know you got your stuff ready to go, your paper, pencil, calculators. Go ahead and pause the video. We'll see what you come up with. Okay, when looking at this problem here, again, let's think about our prior knowledge. So what do I know about fact families? How can I solve this problem? I know that this is a subtraction problem. I know the biggest number in the subtraction problem comes at the beginning. So the biggest number minus this number is gonna equal that number. But what else do I know? Think of like the inverse or the opposite operation. Oh yeah, I could turn this into an addition problem then, right? I can do this number plus this number because in an addition problem, the biggest number comes at the end. So I would be able to flip n over here and I'd be able to add these two numbers together. Uh, so let's try it. So if I did 6.88 plus 7.21, this would equal 14 uh, and 9 hundredths. Uh, now the key here is when I look at this decimal, 14.09 and 14.9 are two different numbers because 14.9 is 14 and 9 tenths, uh, and 14.09 is 9 hundredths. So think about if you get nine out of 10 on a quiz, which is 90%, or if you get nine out of 100, it's 9%. So don't uh, confuse that when you're looking at your calculators or when you're figuring this out um, by hand, um, don't forget that that place value needs to remain the same. However, going back to our problem, uh, I added these two together to equal my biggest number, and then I flipped them here, 7.21 plus 6.88, which equals 14.09. Now the nice way to check this is to use the entire fact family. 
If I think this answer is correct, it should work for n at the top up here. So if I did 14.09 minus 7.21, uh, that would equal uh, 6.88. Uh, and if I took 14.09 minus 6.88, that would leave me with 7.21. Again, when looking at these problems on here, uh, it is important to look at uh, to, 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 to determine our fact families to make sure that we have answered the problems correctly. I told you to be quick and painless uh, today, just like the dentist. Thank you for tuning in to Miss Laner's Math Extravaganza. As always, we'll see you next time.